Good evening. I just got finished watching Spongebob with my grandson. Um, thank you for your prayers for Tom and my mother. Looks like Tom has a stomach bug, so we all know that, my gosh, I can't afford to, I can't catch anything else. Um, I have my, um, and I forgot about this appointment. I don't think I need it anymore, but I'm just going get, to get it anyway. Um, a heart doctor appointment at um, 11 a.m. on the 21st. And then on the 19th, what do I have? Oh my gosh, I gotta start writing these down because I got so many appointments, I'm gonna forget them. The 19th, the ear, nose, and throat doctor. Okay. So, um, I don't know what's going on with me all. Actually, all, I'll, because I'm told something different by every doctor. You know, but um, I'm putting my faith and trust in Jesus, you know. I actually thought about just not going to them, but, you know, I, I need to go to them, you know. Because I'm being told 20 different things. I'm like, why should I go? This doctor's telling me this. This doctor's contradicting that doctor. And then that doctor's contradicting those other two doctors. So I'm like, why should I even go? You know, but I need to go. So I'm going to be getting test results. And um, see where we go from there, you know. Smokey. Some of you have been asking how Smokey's doing. Um, I've been at my daughter's since Tom had the stomach bug. Um. He's still peeing a lot. My mother said that he um, had two small peas today, but the thing is, is he's peeing way more than he should. And um, he had uh, twice, he had, no, three three times actually, massive pee, where it's like from one side of the litter box to the middle of the litter box, and it's a big circle. That's too much. So they um, can't do any more unless we do blood work, but they charge way too much for blood work. But they did your analysis. They said there was a little bit of protein, and that usually means kidney problems. But it was just a tad. And Jasmine had just a TED in her urine several months ago. But when I put her on the KD, and they, they really should make that stuff cheaper. Even with people, uh, with our food, like if it's diabetic food, if it's um, gluten. Me and my daughter and my grandson have a gluten allergy. Next time you're at the store, take a gander at how much that gluten bread is. Your, your, eye, your, your eyes are going to bulge out of the sockets. I mean, $7 and up. I'm like, nope, I'm not, I'm not doing it. But, um, yeah, when Jasmine was on it, um, the protein in her urine went away. Um, she still has to stay on it because, um, with her blood work, there was one, something that went down and there was one that jacked up and skyrocketed. So, um, so now Smokey's on it. I'm praying that they're here to the rapture. As far as a companion in this world, they're all I have, you know. And, um, I hate having to stay over here because I know that Jasmine's not getting exercise while I'm over here. So, um. Hopefully I can come back home soon. But yeah, Smokey's on that now. And um, his breathing was okay. And um, his heart sounded okay. But there's something going on. So I, I believe pets will get raptured. I do. I mean, if you look on YouTube, you'll find a lot of people have had dreams where pets get raptured. Does it say it in the Bible? No. But it doesn't say the word rapture in the Bible either. But you got to know where to look. Revelation 3 verse 10. You know. God saved one of each under his ark. Salvation's for us, yes, but they're innocent, and God knows we love them. I mean, if they're not, God will take care of them, but I, I believe they will be. I had a dream about a year or two ago, and I, I some of you remember that dream I had, you know, where I said, come on, you got to go, there's a storm coming, and you can bring your pets too, and I woke up. But um, there's a lot of people that have dreams that their pets are getting raptured, but go to the Lord about it, you know, and um, I just, I... I believe they will be. And I'm hoping they make it till that day because, yeah, they're my only companions, you know? They're all I have. When you accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, all your sins are washed clean. Past, present, and future. Where you've repented, it's change your mind, change your lifestyle. We live for Christ. We don't follow the ways of the world. We follow... God's laws. Now, we sin every day. Anybody that says, I don't sin, well, they're sinning by saying that because they're lying. We, we sin every day. Only Jesus is perfect. God sees everybody's heart. God sees who truly want to live for Christ. Wherever you're listening in the world, do not put your faith and trust in those world leaders. Because remember, Agenda 2030, you'll have nothing and love it. You think that just flew out the window? No. And don't you think it's odd how Elon... I'm not saying Elon Musk is the Antichrist. He may not be. He may be, he may not be. 
We're not going to know who the Antichrist is. We won't be here. And actually, I don't care. We're looking for Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I can't wait. I literally look up at the sky every day. And my daughter lives near a railroad. Do you ever, have you ever like heard like a railroad or heard like a noise or something in the area, like a, by the railroad or something? And I've done that before and I'm going, oh my gosh, is this it? Oh no, I've been left behind. And I'm like, oh, that was the railroad. <laughs> no, I won't be left behind. I'm just, I'm just being silly. But, um, we will be hearing it soon. We will be. But yeah, I think it's kind of strange, um. Um, how Elon Musk is starting to, I mean, he invents stuff. He, he invented neuro, you know what? We know what that does. Coincidence? Is it a coincidence? And, and he's meeting with a guy in Iran. It's like, he, he's a computer tech mogul. I mean, he, he, what does he have to do with politics? I'm not saying he's the Antichrist. No. Um, I was talking to a dear sister in Christ and telling her how I may have to, um, shut off comments again and I really don't want to do that because I love talking to you guys and I love um reading the comments and um I try to reply to many as many as I can but um you just got those few nasty ones you know well I wish everybody could just be nice and get along you know the world would be a better place but um yeah I'm hoping I don't have to do that but um yeah I just I think it's kind of odd how he's starting to everything's like converging at one time have y'all noticed that with the alien things, well, we know they're demons. And um, Elon Musk, go to, Elon Musk, it's, you know, go down to Iran and um, everybody thinks there's going to be peace now that Trump's in. Everything is happening at once. Now, I'm going to get off the subject real quick, but um, I didn't watch it. I'm not really much into sports. The only sports I ever watched was football because my daughter was a cheerleader. And um, but that fight that Mike Tyson and... Um, Jake, whichever his name is, fight. That was a fixed fight, if I've ever seen a fixed fight. You know, and um, it's, uh, I heard that Mike Tyson, I heard, so don't quote me on it, it's true, I heard, I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard he got paid like 20 million to throw the fight, and he's doing it for his family, you know. Whether that's true or not, I don't know, but um, that fight was actually here in Arlington, Texas, maybe five minutes from my house, and, um, yeah, there's, um, my, my daughter's, um, boss got them all tickets. My daughter didn't go, but, um, my daughter's boss got, got them all tickets and they all went, but my daughter didn't go. And, um, I think it's kind of lame, you know, because a lot of people spent a lot of money on those tickets. Nothing was fixed. Straight up fixed. Of course, the, you know, the younger ones, you know, like the, the ones in their twenties and thirties are going, well, he was old man. He's 58 years old. I said, man, that that's Mike Tyson. That, the way that guy trained, he threw that fight. And I, I just, I think that's a horrible thing to do because there's a lot of people that paid a lot of money to go see those tickets. I mean, just go see those tickets. To go, a lot of people that paid a lot of money to go see that fight. And he threw it. It's like, I feel it's like, youngins, uh, come here, listen to me, listen to me. That's Mike Tyson. He threw the fight. Anyway, it just goes to show, you know, everything's all about money. You know, they didn't, neither side cared that a lot of people, hardworking people, paid a lot of money for those tickets. I looked up how much the tickets were once. Whoa! <laughs> Man! Seven, eight hundred dollars for nosebleed. I was, because I was curious. I would never go to a fight, but I was curious how much the tickets went for since it's right here in Arlington. And I was like, wow. And so that's just a horrible thing to do, you know? Anyway. This is from RT. We know there is not aliens from another planet in another galaxy. They're demons. It's happening more and more and more. RT is reporting, and this came out today. If today's the 16th, my, I forget my days. The Pentagon releases update on aliens, the demons. UFO sightings have been on the rise, with many cases still unresolved. The U.S. Defense Department has said there is currently no evidence to support the claims of extraterrestrial activity. They're demons. The U.S. Defense Department has stated, despite receiving hundreds of reports of new unidentified flying objects sightings. You know, I remember 
when, let's see, we moved down here from New York in maybe the end of 79, beginning of 1980, I can't remember. And um, we just moved down here. And we lived in these apartments called Soda Grande. For those of you in the area, everybody knows Soda Grande. Huge apartment complex. Me and my father will walk into Mr. M's convenience store. And there's this big grass field by the apartments. We look up in the sky and we see one, two, three, four discs shaped objects with multicurled lights around them. And I was like, Dad, look, I think I was only like maybe 11 or 12 then. I went, Dad, look. They went deeper and deeper into the sky and they vanished right in front of us. My dad called Channel 5 News and a lot of people called in. They said it was a weather balloon. I was like, a balloonza. Balloonza. There wasn't just one. I was like, that what? That one, no weather balloon. But was it an alien from outer space? No. No, it wasn't. It was right above our head and there were several of them. And they disappeared right in front of us. So they've been around for a long time, you know. But there is no life under the planets. There is no aliens. But the closer we get to the rapture, this is going to happen more and more. In unclassified documents from the Pentagon's all Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, excuse me, released on Thursday, detailed a significant rise in, in uh, UFO sightings. The military term, well, they, they call it Unidentified Anomalies Phenomenon Sightings, UAP, basically UFOs. The AARO, which was established by the Pentagon in 2022 to identify and resolve UAP sightings, received a total of 485 reports from May of 23 to June of 24. A total of 118 cases was resolved during the reporting period, all of which were found to be prosaic objects such as various types of weather balloons. That's what they told us it was. Birds and unmanned aerial systems. I got my opinions on that, but that'll be for another video. The report, which shows the data collected from military personnel, civilian observers, and advanced radar systems, stressed the need for further investigation into these mysterious occurrences. Quote, many other cases remain unsolved, and AARO continues collection and analysis on the body of cases the AARO stated. The report underscores the importance of continued funding and research into UAPs as, as officials express concern about potential national security implications. Military pilots have reported instances of near misses with UAPs during training exercises, raising the alarm over airspace safety. None of the resolved cases substantiated advanced foreign adversarial capabilities or breakthrough aerospace technologies. The AARO has pledged to provide immediate, quote-unquote, immediate notification to Congress should they identify that any cases indicate or involve a breakthrough for an adversarial aerospace capability as the Pentagon strives for greater transparency and accountability in the process. The Pentagon's assertion that aliens have never visited Earth has faced scrutiny from independent investigators and conspiracy theorists, many of whom believe the government may be concealing evidence of extraterrestrial life. They're demons. They're demons. On Wednesday, independent journalist Michael Schellenberger testified on a supposedly secret government program called Immaculate Constellation, submitting a report by an anonymous whistleblower alleging that the Defense Department and intelligence community have withheld evidence from the public about UAPs. Other witnesses included former Defense Department and NASA officials. You know, I never, I never thought I'd say this, but I kind of agree with that about them not telling people. Those words will never come out of my mouth again. <laughs> you know, saying I, I agree with them. You know, not telling people because you know what's going to happen. Look what happened when the pandemic started. Everybody started rushing the stores for freaking toilet paper, <laughs> which I never could understand. I mean, what do you think's going to happen if they say, "Well, we know they're demons." But if they say aliens exist, everybody's going to run around screaming the sky is falling. Yeah. The hearing came more than a year after former Air Force Intelligence Officer David Grush testified before Congress that the U.S. government 
has run a secret multi-decade reverse engineering program. Sorry, one second. Okay, we're gonna leave off here. Involving a recovered spacecraft. He also claimed that non-human biologics were retrieved from crash sites. Following Cruz's allegations, the Pentagon said it has not, quote, discovered any variable information to substantiate claims that any program regarding the possession of reverse engineering of extraterrestrial materials have existed in the past or exist currently. Well, again, they're demons, but <laughs> yeah, you can trust the government. They don't have anything, do they? Yeah, right. Right. Every time the government opens their mouth, they lie, so. They're demons, you know. No. But if now if I'm not saying this is gonna how it's gonna happen, but if the rapture happens as bombs are dropping, or before they drop, or after they drop, are people gonna think the disappearing was for UFOs or bombs? You know. I don't know. But um maybe a little of both, you know. So I'll leave the link in the description box so you can uh, read this article for yourself. And it's just, these are amazing times, you know, and the world's clueless. The world is still clueless. How can they not see the signs? God has a big neon sign and the only ones that see it are the ones that are looking for the world's return, basically. A lot of people are too wrapped up in their trips and they're going out to eat and their vacations and you know, and then whatever they, you know, the new cars, the new homes, and they're too planted in this world. God may give them what they want, you know. But each day that we're here, we got to keep planting seeds. we got to keep sharing the gospel. Because this is an evil, lost world. But time is wrapping up. We're actually in overtime right now. Very soon. We will be face to face with our King Jesus Christ. Very soon, you're going to see your family that's passed on in Christ. You're going to see them. Imagine seeing all the pitch you've ever had run up to you at once. Our new health, my new healthy body. Oh my gosh. My new health. I'm never going to be sick again. I can't wait. Oh my gosh. That's what gets me through every day. I love you guys and I can't wait to meet you. I cannot wait to meet you because thank you isn't enough for all the help, love, prayers, and support you've given me. I pray for all of you every day and your families and your children and your grandchildren and your pets and your income and your health, your lost family members. I pray for all of you every day. I love you. You mean so much to me. And I cannot wait. Bake CD at my house and the brownie table. I know I always say brownie table, but I mean, I wonder if there will be brownies in heaven, you know. And if you feel like to donate, as you guys know, everything goes to medical bills. Um, I'll have links in the description box. And um, it goes to gas and medicines and co-pays. And, and, um, and now, now it looks like with Jasmine's dog food and now Smokey's dog food, it's, yeah, it goes to that too. Because that's, they shouldn't make that stuff so expensive. It's just crazy. Crazy. But corporate greed, you know. So, hang in there. It's almost over. Good night. God bless you. And I will talk to you soon.